Here we go, our first official game of Modern Warfare 3. And by the end of this video, we'll have unlocked our first gold camo. I really want to see how the gold camo for multiplayer in this game looks in game. Oh, wow. They still got the hiding spots back here on sub base. And we also get to explore these Modern Warfare 2 maps in the new uh, upgraded graphics version. So obviously, step one with any COD camo grind, at least the newer ones, is to get the gun leveled up. So we have got to get some weapon levels. Oh. Striker still goaded. But wait a minute. We got a cheat code up our sleeve. Let's use some of these. Uh, Yeah, one hour of double weapon XP. That's going to help a lot. Bye-bye. Enigma. <laughs> Get three kills while ADSing in multiplayer. Dude, what a hard operator to unlock. Oh, my. There's their whole team. Woo, first level. Woo. Oh, you get to see the calling cards when you use them. Oh, that. Yes, baby. I got to put on a sexy calling card. I got to put on that Grand Mastery, baby. Ball camo on the striker. That is beautiful. Scrapyard also looks really good in this game. I love the bright, beautiful skybox. This is probably where I'm going to get my thumbnails. Level four. Woo. The SBMM's already cranked up to 10 bajillion. Got him. Got him, baby. Oh, I miss this map. I miss this map. The spawns. Oh, oh, oh. No! Payback. Kill 10 operators who killed you, and I'm dead. Sorry, Dave. So yeah, my double XP tokens are just locked, and it said I used one. I definitely used a token, but I don't feel like I'm getting double weapon XP, and I'm dead. And I don't see it in the menu, so I think it just ate my double XP token an hour worth of it, and now it won't let me use it anymore, and I am trash. Six bullets in a dream, baby. Just enough. No! Smack him! Level seven striker, baby! So we've leveled up the gun enough, but the first camo challenge, just like Modern Warfare 2, is get 50 kills with the weapon. And that's for every weapon in the entire game. He was just gonna chill up here. Oh, Riptide! Get a kill with a cruise missile in a single MP match. Well, there's another operator. Another one that's super hard. Oh, Afghan looks so good. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. yes, yes, yes. It works. Although we immediately died because that's not a very good cover spot. But it, I'm just glad it still works. That seems a lot easier than what it was. I felt like back in the old Modern Warfare 2, I struggled to make this jump. But anyway, Afghan looks beautiful. Beautiful looking map. Wait a minute. Is this Almazra? Nice. Now, one of the biggest questions I have is do camo pop-ups work in this game? When we get a camo, is it going to pop up? And when we get gold, are we going to get a pop-up for that? Because Modern Warfare 2 at launch didn't have that and was really disappointing. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, Amer I saw we unlocked a camo. I can't pronounce that camo name. I'm illiterate, but cool. One camo down, baby. Oh, he's hiding behind the car. Where the... Where? Hello? Oh, there's level 10. Well, uh, 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 all right. Here's the camo we just unlocked for getting 50 kills with the striker, and it's kind of mid. It wouldn't look that bad if it wasn't so scratched up, but not not all the camos can be winners. Now we've got to get hip fire kills, which um, you know, hip fire kills on shipment are easy, but um, you know, this 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 um, this is not no shipment. This is uh, this is a big boy map, so hip fire gonna be. Oh no. No ADS for us. Oh, we got it. All right, come on, Lego, play this like CS:GO. No ADS. Yeah. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. We could perform a finisher, but I got to get a hip fire kill. So priority right now is camos, not finishing people. But trust me, we're going to be finishing a lot of people later on. So I've adopted a new method and this new method is working really well. You start ADS and then you un ADS after you shoot him a few times so like that. Oh my God, it works too well. Whew. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And boom, just like that, gold camo, easy GG, roll credits, we're done. Uh, no, this is this is just one of the ranked play gold camos. We, we don't. But I mean, hey, it was kind of believable, right? Wait a minute. Does this count as a hip fire kill? Because if the tax stance counts, this is going to be pretty easy. Oh, hi there. Okay, so lesson learned. Tax stance kills do not count. Woo, double. If you could just keep giving me rust, that would be great. Oh, yes, baby. There we go. Tobo Regal unlocked. 25 hip fire kills. Okay, this is the hip fire kill camo, and it's a little bit better. Once again, it's just the fact that it it's all scratched up is what makes it kind of mad, but it's not a bad looking camo. Just wish it had full coverage. No, no, no. Oh, I do have enough bullets. I do have enough bullets. 
Level 18. Now I definitely don't. Now I definitely don't. Please, please let me reload before you descend upon me. Level 15. Whew. I've got a bullet. I've got a bullet and a knife. Ah! All right. So now that we're level 15, the next challenge we got to do is get kills while crouched. Are actively sliding, but I think it's probably going to be easier to get kills while crouched. That was a slider. Woohoo! On the point. Dude, I love that there's calling cards to grind on this game at launch. Modern Warfare 2 is missing that so desperately. They didn't add until season one, but being able to like go for different challenges right now adds so much more to the launch experience. Level 17. Oh, he's got a chainsaw! Homelander running around with a chainsaw on day one. Modern day Call of Duty, baby. Oh, I got it. I got the camo. I didn't get to read what it was called because we won the game, but woo! Kills while crouched. Here's the absorption camo. And once again, it's all scratched up, which I don't know. I kind of wish the camos weren't. I, I guess it's more realistic like this, but I don't. I'm not a big fan of the scratched up camos. Now we've got to get the gun max rank. To do the final camo challenge, we got to get this bad boy all the way to level 23. Free XP for securing. Holy. Ah, level 19. What the? Well, that's what I'm talking about. Give me that XP, baby. Level 22. One more level. One more level. Come on, I see you there. Nah, well, you thought you were just going to sneak around the corner and I wasn't going to shoot you. Level 23. All right, for the last camo challenge, we have to kill enemies who are affected by our tactical. So this is going to be the most annoying one. Yes. Woo. Yes, yes, yes. Hit him with the stun. No, he's got a shotgun. Oh, oh. Throw the needle. Oh, I got stun kids in here. Oh, stun kill. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, oh. I'm out of stun grenades, but there we go. Pick it up. Yes, 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 yes. Teammate, do not steal this from me. <gasps> got it. Viral invasion unlocked, baby. Let's go. Here's the viral camo, and it looks just all right. Now for the next challenge, we've got to get 10 kills without taking damage, which sounds really easy compared to what we just did oh well there's one. Oh no maybe not Whew. Whew. there's no way this challenge can be that simple why does the gold challenge feel so much easier than every other challenge we had to do for this not that the other ones were hard but oh gold unlocked yeah it took uh oh and it got blocked by a uav great that was our first gold camo we've unlocked in modern warfare 3 period and it got blocked by a uav because we we got three kills so um Cool, but yeah, the gold challenge for this was extremely easy. We have now got Gilded unlocked, which in my opinion, I think the Modern Warfare 2 gold looked better. I, I'm, uh, we'll, we'll load it in game. We'll give it a chance. We'll load it in game. We'll give it a chance. But then next we've got to unlock Forged, but to get Forged, we have to unlock gold for every SMG. So now we have to do the Swarm, the AMR-9, the WS-9, the Rival-9, uh, the Striker-9. And once we get all of those gold, we can then go back and do the platinum challenge for this. And then we can do the priceless, which, oh my God, that looks good. But we got to get every game and every gun in the entire game gilded first. Okay. You know, I'm actually genuinely surprised by this. This did not look near as good in the menu. It looked like it wasn't reflective or shiny at all. But in game, this camo might be better than the Modern Warfare 2 version. All it really is, I mean, if we break it down, just gold with circle patterns in it. So it's nothing crazy. And, you know, I'm not even going to complain about this. Like, it's not, you know, game, like, oh, uh, it's not crazy. It's not game changing. It's not like, oh, my God, this is the best gold camo ever. But at the end of the day, this is just the gold camo. This isn't the final camo. This is a camo you use uh, while you are unlocking your other tiers of camo so it doesn't have to be ridiculous and i'm i'm okay with this being the gold camo of the game because i am uh, i'm really excited to get the later stage camos but you know what that means now we've got other smgs to grind and if you want to see us uh, unlock the gilded camo which we're going to be doing very soon if you want to see us get the priceless camo the board all, all the cool animated master camos make sure to unlock the subscribe button because we're gonna be unlocking all those and if you want to follow us on the journey uh yeah oh this game's already over what the heck oh, well i guess this video is over too so i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day peace let me know your opinions on the gold